Hi folks, this is Frank the Pest Geek. We're looking at a, a monitor where we did a, a German roach job and we find this is what we do to monitor the control we're getting and to week after week or every two weeks or monthly as we're doing this clean out we can document what is happening via the monitors and see that there is an actual reduction. One of the things that I find really peculiar about this particular board compared to every other board we've done is the number of adult uh, that are on this board compared to the number of nymphs. And there's a possible explanation for it. Um, normally, the population of nymphs to adult is about 80-20, 80% 80 80 nymphs, 20% adults. This is actually kind of almost equal or reverse when you start doing a count of the nymphs. Here, let me see if I can zoom in on that. You see an egg casing, a Uthaga, that actually hatched on the board. There's all the nymphs you can count. On average, you get about, you know, 20 something to 36 nymphs. They can go as high as 40. But normally on average, when you start doing, it's about 36. Eggs have been laid on this actual board. One of the things that you'll notice is if you see that's that's a male and that appears to be a female. The way you can tell is by the cerces in the back, those little two tips coming out the back. And usually you're going to get probably a 90 plus percent male versus female. One of the things that I'm encouraged about is that deformity that I'm starting to find in the wings on some of these, let me see if I can find a good one that I can point out. Um, that's a female right there. But one of, we use point source IGR. And one of the things that could be causing this is the amount of egg drop. Let me get a little closer there. The amount of egg drop that could have happened. They could have aborted the eggs. Uh, eggs didn't hatch as you see this one right there was dropped But it doesn't look like it's yeah, it did hatch it hatched probably before she crawled on the board So you can see the little slit. I'm gonna see if I can do a, um, a I mean, I'm in the sh there's a there's a shade the, the the Sun I'm outside I'm trying to do this um, So yeah, so this is how it's just peculiar the way this is this is um, where there's just so many more adults than there are nymphs this one if you notice that one right there the leg is is still twitching so this was caught recently um, we can see them twitching and see the antennas moving and we know that they're still alive on the board there's a there's one right there where it doesn't look right, the body doesn't look right, those wings don't look right. That could be because of the gentle point source, the gentle IGR point source. And this is the reason we use it on every initial German roach job, in addition to bait, in addition to, to the Doxum, the precision. And I'm trying to get, yeah, the precision delivery system using Doxum and also Max Force Complete. So we apply a total of three baits and an IGR. Now this thing is on mackerel, that's why it's behaving that way. Uh, but look at the nymphs around, and then the adults around that board. So what we'll do is we take pictures of this, we upload it as a document onto the work order. That way when we come back next month, we can compare, or we come back, and in this case, we're gonna come back in two weeks. I don't know if you can see this right here. That one's moving her head or that's a he actually that male right there is moving his head the twitch that i don't know if you saw the twitch so there you go but very 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 interesting 